welcome to the third video in our last video we looked at how to generate an apk and upload it to internal testing on google play console we then went and configured our emulator our emulator device so that we can be able to test our app yeah so the video you can get the video in a video description or you can just um, look at it here on the top right corner going to follow the official document provided by google the first thing that you are going to do is to initialize the billing establish connection show the products available to buy and launch the purchase flow so then the last part is to process the purchase right so um i already have a simplified uh, code for these steps in my repository you can just go and check this repository so now i already have a project as i i mentioned that i already have a project created and i built an app and uploaded to google console so when you look at my project in my project i only have three activities so the store activity this is where we are going to handle everything those google step we are going to handle them here so what i have here is just three buttons nothing special just three buttons the first one is the weekly monthly and yearly these are their ids so on the splash screen there's nothing yet then on the main activity then on the main activity i only have uh, the subscribe button which is going to take us to our store activity so the first step that we need to take now is to initialize the billing client right so i can go ahead and say billing client i already have um, all the steps for you in this repository so for the sake of time i'm going to just copy and paste copy and paste and do some code modification then there i will explain some some of the steps so just copy on step one this one just copy it therefore paste it here so as you can see this one is going to initialize the plain client with uh, this listener so if you have got an error on the billing client it means that you didn't create an object of billing client church you just need to um, create it there then this code this error will go away so make sure it says um, enable pending purchases and the set listener the set listener is this one here therefore the second step is to establish connection right is to establish connection just like i said go back to the repository then from the repository you can just copy step two then on step two just paste it there make sure you paste this method outside on create method so on this method this method is going to start the connection from the user's phone to google console play uh, i mean to google play right it's going to start the connection then when it's uh, when the connection it's um, successful then uh, it's going to call this method right on billing setup finished then if it has failed then you need to recall the method to retry to start the connection then uh, since it's connected successfully then we need to start showing the product to the user ne? to the user so now this is the step this is the third step the third step is to just copy this code paste it there show product then on the show product on this list the SKU list this is the list that we need to add all our subscription here so this is the subscription I mean the subscription product id right so in this video we are doing multiple subscription so i will have three subscription here which is weekly monthly and yearly right so 
I already have these IDs created in my Google Play Console account. I'll show you in a minute. Monthly, weekly. So you need to go to your Google Console account. select your app then go to monetize go to subscription then these are the product IDs right so you can create uh, your 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 product ID here you can just create it so as for me I already have them in my Google console account so these are the three ID so <coughs> remember on our what on our activity i mean on our store activity the xml file we have these three buttons these three buttons as you can see these are their ids these are this, their ids so what i need to do i need to say on the weekly product right so on skew details response this one is going to return all the products that you have defined here in the list, right? So it's going to return all the products there in a form of a list, which is type of SKU details. Then we've got this list there. Then um, in this, we are creating an object of SKU details. Then on the SKU details, then you can find the product id this one is the product id which is get skew then i'm checking if the skew id is equals to um weekly then on the weekly i want to go to the button this button of weekly this one i'm changing the text i'm changing the text to the price this is the object is this object so I'm getting the price out of this um, product. Then let me change this one and say week. Therefore, here I change this to that. So that when the person clicks to this button, this button, it's going to open the purchase flow. It's going to open the purchase flow. For an example, let me show you. Then these are the products have been shown to the user then when i click here this is the launch purchase flow right this is the launch purchase flow then i need to have an else if statement to check on the second product right so i'll copy this code and say else if then i take the product id I put it there then I change this to month then I make sure that I'm using the month button the month button and again I can copy and paste that for the yearly this is how you add multiple subscription to your app right then this this is done you are done doing this so that the fourth step is to launch the purchase flow is to launch the purchase flow you can go back to the repository and copy this code and paste it there then you change this one to your activity then the launch purchase um flow it's receiving an object of skew type of skew details then we are setting the skew details using this skew details that is passed from this if statement right so then we are opening the billing flow the billing purchase flow which is this one
right so then when the user clicks subscribe when the user clicks subscribe we need to verify the purchases or the payment right so this is the fifth step copy that go back to your project and paste it there this one it's verifying all the purchases made into the app right so this one is receiving the purchases and then on the purchases we are getting the what the purchase token from this purchases list object right so i can just remove this i don't need that for now then here this is where we acknowledge all the payments like when a user purchases your subscription you need to acknowledge it if you don't if you don't acknowledge it then google is going to refund um the user right so you need to acknowledge it so that um the user keeps the subscription as well as you get the money for the subscription right so on acknowledge purchase response this is where um google is going to return true showing that your purchase is acknowledged therefore this is when you need to set the premium to one then one it means that the user has a premium zero the user does not have a premium so the last thing that we need to do we need to handle pending transactions you just need to copy this and paste it outside on create method import the class so this one is going to handle all the pending um, purchases for an example if a user uh, is trying to purchase your, your subscription in your app uh, therefore uh, the app crashes right the app crashes and then the user will be kicked out out of the app therefore the the the, the what the the purchase will be pending right so when the user goes back to the store activity this on resume method it will be called then we are going to query all the purchases to find out if there is any pending um purchases and as well as the purchase is not acknowledged yet then we are going to verify the payment verify sub purchases it's this method again this is going to verify and acknowledge then set the premium to the user if you didn't get this please comment in the video description i will explain more there right so now we are done we are done uh, doing this so in the next video i will do the check subscription on the splash screen right on the splash screen i need to check whether the user is still subscribed or not because at some point the user will take um the, the the weekly subscription right so after seven days the subscription is going to expire right so we need to check if the user still has the subscription if they still have the subscription we update the set premium with one all the time as long as the subscription is active if it's not active then we are going to change it to zero then the user it means um they don't have a, a subscription anymore then they need to go to the store activity and sub and subscribe to a new um subscription um please subscribe and comment and like the video if you understood something from this video thank you for watching